Driving to Damascus is the long-awaited new album by Scots rock band Big Country. It's a collection of songs written by Stuart Adamson from his new base in Nashville, and the first single from it, Fragile Thing, produced a rare opportunity for the band to collaborate with Scots singer Eddie Reader. great singer and she just played her the songs and asked her to sort of improvise and maybe picked out a few parts for her to do but she just sat down on the couch put the microphone in front of her and she was away it was glorious to watch and sure also got the chance to co-write a bunch of songs with one of his real musical heroes Ray Davis of the Kinks he was doing uh, Glastonbury a couple of years ago and he uh, didn't want to have the full, get the full Kinks band back together again so he asked uh, uh, Tony and Mark and myself if we'd be, he'd seen us playing live on TV and thought it was a killer band and asked if we would be the Kinks for, for a day and, and we did and it, it was great fun, you know, I got, got to play, play the songs I grew up with as a kid, you know, Waterloo Sunset and You Really Got Me and uh, it was just, just a hoot and, and then I really got on very well with him. Love is a small Big Country have been making records now for more than 15 years, enjoying incredible chart success on both sides of the Atlantic. But do they feel at a disadvantage competing alongside the new young Britpop guitar bands who dominate the UK music scene? I think sometimes in Britain that's a case where there seems to be such a high turnover of people and uh, once you've been around for any, any kind of period of time you obviously become unhip with the bright young things at, at radio and stuff. I mean there's a bunch of guitar music around just now and, and we're not too far distance from it and hopefully there's a place for it there that's out there and, and I certainly feel there should be with the quality of the record we've made. We've had a great time making it, it took seven weeks start to finish. They're all great songs and uh, I use the word songs advisedly, you know that Stuart's been away in Nashville putting all this stuff together and we've gone out on a couple of occasions to you know, sort of round them off but by the time we got in the studio we knew that we we're going to have an album completely of songs rather than sort of lots of music and sort of lyrics and dispersed. It. It's a great bunch of songs. Big Country have always been one of Scotland's best live bands and a UK tour was planned for October. Performing live is still very important to Tony and Stuart. I think to me it's always been the very essence of what, what a group should be, you know. I, <clears throat> I grew up in a small village in Fife and people would be around after the pub on a Saturday night singing songs and playing accordions and and you see these big tough minor guys who could barely say a word to their wife all week long declaring their undying love for them in song after umpteen pints on a Saturday night and so I was always aware that that, that, that thing of music could be more than just a kind of a coffee table accessory that it was something that, that could bind the people together. I, mean, I played my first gig when I was 15 in Crossgate's Miners Welfare Institute and I was a pretty shy teenager and uh, being up there with a guitar to hide behind was a kind of good way of impressing young girls at the time, you know. <laughs> uh, and so that, that kind of stuck and then I just I just found that it felt it felt right for me to be on stage and that, that the way a song was always what best for me is when you've got that direct contact and you're singing it into people's faces, you know. Plus, I mean, we've, we've had an outrageous support since the day we started. You know, people that have come to see the band that have been so demonstrative and, and so loyal. It's just uh, an unbelievable thing to have been a part of.